with new GPUs coming out this fall from both Nvidia as well as AMD, today I'm going to show you the best ways to make sure that you're able to get one at MSRP. That way you don't have to deal with scalpers and this has come back again with the RTX 4090. We didn't think it was going to be this bad with that expensive of a GPU, but it's come back. People are scalping the RTX 4090 and some people are selling it for almost double the price on online marketplaces. Today I'm going to show you guys various methods methods for getting a new GPU at MSRP, a hot one that's coming out that's very in demand, one that sells out and it's difficult to get otherwise, and I'm even going to show you a nice almost top secret way to get one at the end of the video that you may not be aware of. I was at my local micro center the first day and there were over 150 GPUs in stock and almost just as many people. Seems like everybody was able to get a GPU. So right now it's pretty easy to get any RTX 3000 GPU. You can basically basically walk into a store or check online, you should be able to find one for MSRP or even less at this point. The question if you should buy it or not or wait for new generations, I mean that's a whole other discussion. Right now I think you should probably be looking towards the new GPUs unless you get a very good deal on an RTX 3000 or an AMD 6000 GPU. This is going to apply mostly to the new 4090 as well as the 4080 coming out in November and the RDNA 3 GPUs that will also come out probably sometime in December. So the first important tip I want to give you guys, if you think you want to upgrade, the best time to do it is on launch day. This has been my experience every single time. Here's the perfect example. The 4090 came out on launch day. Most people that were there, in fact everybody the first day that lined up, were able to get a GPU. I walked in after the store opened and I was still able to get a GPU and even throughout the day people were able to get that same GPU. Now, if you don't live near a micro center, of course, this is going to be a problem. And I understand not that many people do, especially, you know, around the world. And even in the US, there are only some sporadic stores. But if you know you want a certain GPU and you're within at least a reasonable driving distance of a micro center, I would say for a launch, you could say between two to four hours driving is probably pretty reasonable. If people stay in line almost overnight, you can probably drive two hours for something that may be really hard to get. So if you kind of open up that driving distance for like two, three hours, you'll definitely have a lot more people close to a micro center. And since you're not going there every day, this is going to be for a one time event. It may actually be worth it if you really want to make sure you get a GPU because let's say if you had done that during the RTX 4090 launch even if you got there after the store opened you would have been able to get the GPU on launch day they even had a few left the next day so this isn't something like you're going to waste your time and um, this was for the 4090 so who knows if the other launches will be similar but at least for that it would have been worth a little bit of a drive and now let's hear a word from our sponsor priced pretty good is a Windows CD key today's video sponsor is going to be vip-cdkdeals.com very simple process you can get a windows 10 pro cd key and remember to use code cc20 for a nice discount and now back to the video the launch day purchase, if you want the GPU, is important because after, um, you never know when they're going to restock. The GPU often becomes hard to get for a little while, and then you start seeing them pop up on the scalper sites like we've seen recently. Now, if you don't have a store near you, you can still try to get it on launch day, of course, and this is going to be online. Now, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Most likely, the two places that are more likely to get a GPU faster are going to be Best Buy and Newegg. Now, these two are kind of notorious sometimes for maybe you know bots getting in the way for people having GPU sold out within the first 10 minutes but even during the 4090 launch if you acted fairly quickly on launch day let's say within the first 10 to 15 minutes on something like Newegg and maybe even on Best Buy there's a pretty good chance you would have been able to get a GPU and now Best Buy or Newegg are going to be available to a lot more people it's not just a micro center so the trick here is you're going to have to be up there pretty early as soon as the launch happens generally all of the launch have been around 9 Eastern time in the morning. So if you're like in California, you're going to have to get up at 6 in the morning. If you're on the East Coast, 9 in the morning. And of course, if you're in Europe or other places, you may have your own specific retailers at you know varying times depending on when they launch. So that's going to be my first big tip. 
on launch day, try to buy the GPU right away. If you wait, the GPUs are going to sell out, disappear, and the prices are going to start going up. Even MSI on their own website started to raise the price of one of their 4090s. They saw how quickly it sold out, so they raised it by like almost 200 bucks, showing you once again why launch day is going to be the most important timing. Now, what happens if you've actually missed your launch day and you still want a GPU, let's say if it's like a week after. If the GPU is in high demand, like something like the 4090 right now, for example, most likely the only way you're going to be able to get it, aside from the scalper market, they're full on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you want one at MSRP, you're going to have to sign up for notifications to the same places you would have gotten it on launch day. So sign up for Best Buy notifications on Twitter, Discord. There are various that tells you when they're going to have a drop. For example, Best Buy just had a pretty significant drop of 4090s today. A lot of people were able to get them. Now, remember, it's not going to be guaranteed. There's going to be a certain process. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but that's going to be the best way. You have to know when the when the drop happens almost immediately because they sell out really fast, as fast as on launch day, sometimes faster if they don't have as big of an inventory, as big you know of a restocking. So make sure you sign up for notifications. Newegg, Best Buy, those are going to be the two biggest ones in the U.S. Also check out Ant Online. They sold a lot of bundles last generation with RTX 3000, but they also have occasional drops. They've had the 4090 recently, and those are going to be potentially the three biggest online places that most people will have access to. And of course, if you're talking about these random online drops, you're going to have them in store as well with Micro Center. You're going to have to check on their website early on when they get restocking they'll often get restocked maybe at least once during that first week of the launch so for example the 4090 after it sold out during launch day i think that friday after so a few days after they got a smaller shipment and this one i think was of like msi the liquid cooled 4090s and there were already a significant amount of people lined up even for that restock so that's going to be another case that's going to be a little bit trickier unless they get a really big shipment that comes in you may May not be guaranteed to get a gpu and you can bet they're going to sell out early if you see that come up in their in their store sometimes before the store opens they'll kind of put what inventory they're going to have for that day and if you see a 4090 pop up there just remember you're probably going to have people already going and waiting in line as soon as that shows up so that's going to be something you're going to have to contend with and if they get a very small amount like if there's like four gpus that show up in stock there's a good chance there may be five or six people headed that way if it's a pretty in-demand GPU. Of course, it's going to be various types of people, people that are gamers and didn't get one and enthusiasts. And unfortunately, it's going to be a large amount of resellers as well. I think that definitely happened. If you look sort of on the secondhand market, a lot of people have been selling these GPUs. So that whole market has opened up once again. Now, recently, there has been another way to get one of these GPUs, specifically for the Founders Edition, which is only sold at Best Buy. Now, if you have the GeForce Experience by NVIDIA. This isn't going to be something that's for everybody, but if you're selected, NVIDIA will select you and give you a link to be able to buy the Founders Edition 4090 directly. I think it goes to the Best Buy site. Now, nobody knows exactly how the algorithm is working. Maybe it depends on how many games you've played. They want to make sure you're a gamer. Maybe you're not going to like resell it or scalp it or whatever. But if you have GeForce experience, remember to log into your account. See if you get a notification allowing you to buy a Founders Edition. 4090 so that's going to be a way that it's almost like the evga q unfortunately evga is no longer working with nvidia that was one of the best ways to get a gpu way back when now they're gone so we're going to have to do it with all these other methods evga had various drops throughout the year they had their q system which you could sign up and then be notified when it came in stock this nvidia specific q system is of course very different than what evga used to offer but nonetheless it's a way for some people to be able to get a founder's edition remember log into geforce experience it's going to pop up and if you're lucky and selected that's going to be a way that you can actually buy a gpu and finally i mentioned sort of like a top secret very special way you can get a gpu at msrp and i even proved this myself several times by going to a store even if i didn't buy it i would ask them about it see if they're stock this is going to be specifically to best buy a lot of you guys were able to buy gpus during the shortages the last 
two years because of my videos that I made specifically with Best Buy. This is going to be a very interesting little sort of workaround. So Best Buy has online drops for all of the new GPUs. They're exclusively the only place you can buy a Founders Edition from NVIDIA. That's how people got the Founders Edition last year and the year before, as well as all of the other GPUs when they were sold out. Now, if you happen to miss a stock drop, Best Buy generally does not directly sell in the store the newest GPUs. Like the last few years, you rarely would see on their display case anything in stock that was new and high-end like a 3080 or 3090. Now you can walk into a Best Buy and most likely see an RTX 3000 in the display case, but most likely you will not see a 4090 and whatever new GPUs come out. So this is the trick. When people do an online order through Best Buy, some people, for whatever reason, have their order canceled. Maybe they don't want to go and pick it up, or maybe Best Buy system cancels the order for them. Maybe they saw they had various orders already. Maybe they're a scalper or use bots. Regardless, that's a canceled order and it comes back to your local Best Buy. Basically, this is what you do. Let's say you search for 4090. Search for your local Best Buy, whatever that store is. And this is going to have to be on the app. I don't think it works on the website. Make sure to do it on your like iPhone or Android app. So you search for the 4090 and then you click in stock on the upper left corner of your Best Buy app. If your store happens to have one, it's going to show out of stock, but it will show the picture for that actual GPU. For example, in my local store, I searched for a 4090 gigabyte GPU and on the app it said it was out of stock, but it did show the picture of it. If it's not there at all, it's not going to show anything. It's just going to say no search results. What you do, look at that SKU number, go to your local Best Buy, ask customer service or maybe even in the computer section if they have that SKU in stock. It should show up as one for sale. Usually they'll keep it in the back. They never keep it in the display case. It may be near like the online shipping area in, in the front of the store. Sometimes it may be, you know, near the computer area. It's going to vary per store. You may not always get lucky. Some of the associates in the past when I've tried it, they flat out didn't want to go look and said there wasn't a GPU. And after you insist for a while, and if you're polite, you may be able to get it. It may be in the back. They may simply not even know that it's there. Because the GPU technically isn't showing up in stock sort of on the app, it does show up in their system that they can actually sell it it's definitely a little bit of a gray area but just know that it's definitely worked for many people and i even just proved it by going here's the picture of me going to the best buy checking with the employee there and he indeed did have it and i used this very method to get it now if nothing shows up in the search results you're not going to be able to you know get it anything because nothing's probably in the store but if something does show up there's a pretty good chance that they may have it and remember it's going to vary from store to store they're all very different you're going to have different associates that may not actually want to even go and look for it. All right, guys, so these are some of the tips I've picked up over the years. Let me know what works for you and what you've tried in the past. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.